Tributes have been paid tonight to the police officer, Sergeant Matthew Ratner, who was shot dead in a custody centre in Croydon in South London. The Metropolitan Police Commissioner, Dame Cressida Dick, said the force is mourning the great loss of a much-loved colleague. And she described Mr Ratner as big in stature and big in heart. Originally from New Zealand, he was known as Matt and had served with the Met for almost 30 years. A 23-year-old suspect who later turned the weapon on himself is in a critical condition in hospital. Well, our Home Affairs correspondent, Daniel Sanford, is at the scene in South London for us tonight. Daniel. Yes, Clive, for the first time since 2012, a British police officer has been shot dead while on duty. Friends of Matt Ratner have described him as honest and a copper who really cared. The man suspected of shooting him was about to be checked with a metal detector and was still handcuffed. He had been referred as a possible extremist to the Prevent programme a few years ago, uh, but he was never investigated by MI5 and this is not being considered a terrorist incident. Examining the scene of the murder of one of their own colleagues, forensics officers working at the Croydon Custody Centre in South London today. A suspect was brought here at around quarter past two this morning in a police vehicle, but he was carrying a concealed revolver and, still handcuffed behind his back, appears to have shot the custody sergeant in the chest before shooting himself. The dead officer, 54-year-old Matt Ratner, who'd served his whole career in the Metropolitan Police and was about to retire, was rushed to hospital but could not be saved. He gave 29 years of his life to the public of London. Um, he has now tragically been killed uh, on duty. Uh, his service will never be forgotten and we are deeply grateful for it and it is a really distinguished service from a lovely, lovely, much respected police officer. Welcome to East Grinstead Rugby Football Club. I'm Matt Ratner, head coach. Sergeant Ratner, who was originally from New Zealand, was a much-loved colleague but was also well known as a first-class rugby player and the coach at East Grinstead Rugby Club in Sussex. Just before last night's shift, he WhatsApped about how great the last training session had been. His assistant said that was typical of his enthusiasm. He, he affected so many people positively. So many people have, have gained something great from Matt um, and he's going to be a huge loss to to the gym, to the rugby club, to, to just anyone that knew him, yeah. Matt Ratner leaves behind a partner and an adult son from a previous relationship. His colleagues knew him as a big guy, big in stature, big in heart, friendly, capable, a lovely man, highly respected by his colleagues. We begin our minute silence for our fallen colleague. This afternoon, the Metropolitan Police held a minute silence in tribute to the dead officer, led by the head of the force and the Mayor of London. The Prime Minister sent his deepest condolences to his family. I think that a police officer can be killed in a police station is a source of huge concern, not just to the police, not just to those of us politicians who are charged with giving the police the tools they need, but everyone. The suspect is in a critical condition in St George's Hospital, Tooting, after having surgery. He was originally arrested on suspicion of possession of Class B drugs and possession of ammunition. How he then managed to smuggle a gun into the custody suite is at the heart of an independent office for police conduct investigation. But today, all those involved in policing are in deep shock. Once again, an officer has been killed on duty. Once again, they remember the hidden risks they face when they come to work each day. Daniel Sanford, BBC News, Croydon.